So if you want to be an anti-fraud hero, let us help you. Sign up for FeedsEye today. So FeedsEye is a machine learning platform that invokes artificial intelligence and big data for financial crime. And so where we really focus our AI technology is to be woven into the financial services and payments ecosystem. And so nothing outside. We're not here to help self-driving cars. We're not here to fight cybersecurity. We're here to be fit for purpose on how banks and merchants begin to deliver a seamless but secure transaction uh, across different types of payment types for their customers as well as their merchants. It's true that AI is a bit of a buzzword, but if you look at the sort of big picture, if you look at the big technology curves, we've been living through what's really the mobile phone era. We think of it as the internet era, but really it's mobile phones that transform the financial services of business. But that's coming to its peak. You have to look at what's the next curve. And I don't think it's particularly controversial to say that that next curve is AI. Any time there are areas that are manual, repetitive tasks, there's potential application for AI. So as we look through our, our servicing and operations departments, you know, there's a lot of those types of transactions and activities where we see great potential for the use of AI. So we're piloting that across a number of different areas at the moment. Well, I think that uh, there will be more and more uh, augmented intelligence. Uh, so the capability of uh, helping uh, financial advisors uh, or uh, their respective customers, uh, corporate bankers and their respective corporate clients uh, to understand uh, finance, uh, the financial markets uh, and the instability of investors as well in order to relate with money differently. So where can we see AI being used now? data analysis. As we continue to bring AI-based solutions such as intelligent receivables to market, I think you're going to uh, see more marrying between what our clients are doing and what we're doing and the overall efficiency is being improved. When you look at a challenge, a common challenge that's facing treasurers, is just the application of cash against receivables. And knowing who has paid you and for what when you've got such a focus on days receivables outstanding, um, it's a still a very, very manual task. And there's the financial transaction, and bringing the two together uh, is, is the biggest challenge that um, a lot of treasurers face in this space. So the solution that we brought to market really uses artificial intelligence and robotics to take all of that receivables information with the transaction, associate the two, and close down those open items uh, for the treasurer so that they can apply cash quicker and reduce days receivable and outstanding. 50 years ago, my father would have gone to the bank and the bank would have known anything about him, everything. So he was talking to one person and making all of the transactions. Then, through the specialization of banking, he started talking to many different people. Now I don't want to have 25 different apps. I want to talk to one subject only. So the secret is to bundle back into a single element, a single app, and that app needs to be conversational, as you said, because it needs to enable me to make reasoning across my whole portfolio of goals and needs. That means the personalization of personal finance, and that's when FinTech will win. Those capable of doing that will certainly do. Those not capable of doing that will be excluded.